Hello, I am here today to talk to you guys about a little something I did that's very, very personal. I have to tell the truth about veneers, why I got veneers, types of veneers that I got getting, and my journey so far. So, if you would like to know about the shit I've been through, then stay tuned and you will get all the goss. So I will tell you about the veneers that I have at the moment. I currently have Glam Smile on. These are a type of porcelain veneers that require no prep. So with traditional veneers, they have to shave some enamel off your teeth before putting them on. And the other type of veneers that you can get are composite veneers, which also require no prep, but they do not last as long as Glam Smile and yeah, they're just not as durable. Glam Smile was the cheapest option, which is not always the smartest. And I found my dentist on Instagram, which could be maybe one of the problems. Because everything you see on there is not always the truth. And you've just got to be careful about what you believe because not everything is a pretty little picture in real life. So I found my dentist on there because they had really, really good reviews and people were talking about them and they looked pretty nice. And I went into my console and I really, really got along with the dentist and the owner and I thought, well, this is the place. Like this is, I feel comfortable. I, on my appointment, said my concerns about teeth being long and some little shark teeth on the side. And they really, really heard me and I liked that. And he said, I can actually file your two front teeth up now if you like and you don't even have to go ahead with the veneers you can go around it's not going to damage them and yeah if you don't want to go ahead you don't have to so there's no pressure he goes and that way if i file them down then when you come in for your impressions then your teeth are already sort of where they need to be for your veneers so i was there i was there for like a couple of hours and i was like no no i really really feel comfortable i kind of want to want to do this so he was like all right well I'll take the impressions which was not the gross mold thing it was like a little zappy machine so he sent my impressions off to the lab which were I'm just gonna note this after he had already filed them up yeah I left went home was really excited had my next appointment booked in and then I started to get a bit nervous and was like okay I have a few questions um, and then I listed them like one, two, three, sent like a message off to them saying like, what happens if I don't like them? How long does it take to change them if I don't like them? The third one was, is it going to cost me any more if I want to change like a few things on them? And so I got a reply, it said, I will be there on the day of your appointment and I will run through everything with you. Please don't stress. And I said, thank you, but I'm still got a bit of anxiety. Like can't wait, but still very scared. Anyway, I went for my appointment and yeah, this is where it gets a bit tough. The lady wasn't there. And I just got even more nervous. And I was like, the person who said they were gonna be telling me and answering all my questions wasn't there. And then the dentist kind of rushed me through and then placed them on my teeth and showed them to me. And I go, he goes, what do you think? And you can't sit up at this stage because they're just resting on your teeth. And I was kind of like, you could tell I wasn't like, oh my God, they're amazing. I was like, oh, they're, good but they're really big and he goes oh that's just because they're white and I was like okay and there was no reassurance of like oh okay well like let's not do this do you want to alter something are you happy with like every single little tooth and blah, blah, whatnot <laughs> um so that's basically what happened and now I'm here with these why did I get veneers? I never smiled with my mouth open before. My central incisors were extremely long and had a gap between them. My canines on both sides also had a gap between them and were little sharp shark teeth.
These are my Glam Smile veneers. My two central incisors are quite short and bulbous in shape and my teeth don't join up to my gums very well. On the sides, my two canines are extremely large and I have a gap in between my first premolar and my canine. When compared to my other side, the gap isn't as large, although my canine is still extremely large. From the front, you can see my teeth lack a lot of character and they are actually slanted down on an angle. My teeth have also doubled in thickness. So, let's talk about the review appointment. I waited a total of a day and a quarter before I decided to contact my Glam Smile technician and say, we need to talk. I have a lot that is not okay. Let's see. I don't like these veneers. Get these off me. Can I pull them off? Brought off all these issues. I sent them a bunch of photos with like labels pointing out what's wrong with them so that when I came in, it would be just like a smooth process of these are your options. What do you want to do? They booked me in for a week later for the review consult, which really shouldn't be when I told them how much anxiety it gave me and the fact that I cancelled all my plans a day later after I booked in the review consult that I thought maybe I should go get a second opinion. Back to my review consult, it wasn't a smooth process like I hoped it to be. I went in for the appointment, got put on the chair, dentist chair, straight away and he started looking around in my mouth about to start touching things and I said stop! what you're doing i want to talk first like let's really talk this through so i listed all the things that were wrong with them which she saw before i mentioned the fact that they're not functional anymore that i cannot bite my nails anymore um they don't close together my top and bottom teeth and he goes no you couldn't do that before and he showed me my impression like this little clay model thing of my teeth before and he goes look they don't touch and i was like you filed my teeth before you took that impression because you said it would be better if they were at a better level and he went blank so that's when i just knew even more i need to get these off and i need to get out of here he wrapped up the consult and i am yet to get my money back or any money back so we shall see what happens there yeah, stay tuned to see my mirrors made by vicky I will show you the whole process throughout.